Okay, and it's been a while since I've done an eye test and because I haven't been able, the reason why the long gaps, I haven't really been able to access a laptop or a computer of any kind with a built-in webcam of any, or webcam attachment of any kind. So, um, just, I'm going to make this short. Uh, cause I've so, so, it's so much to do. Um, very devastating and unfortunate what's going on in, the, in terms of the earthquake in Nepal. I don't know how much aid is going to be, I mean, I can only imagine how much aid is going to be provided around the world in terms of recovery. Um, but there's that. I mean, the White House Correspondents' Dinner was very well done by Obama never, you know, truly managing to keep his Never, I'm surprised he never broke character once right next to Keegan Michael Key. Cecily Strong did a very good job with with her material, provided that they had the right, that they had pretty much the right punch lines. And I do think, unfortunately, she ran a little too long with the Aaron Shock photos. But um, I'm a little confused. I always thought that the um, MC came uh, appeared first, then the president spoke. I'm confused as to why it was done in that order here because I can remember I think Jimmy Kimmel host uh, when Jimmy Kimmel hosted I think he went first then it was Barack anyway okay I was quite fascinated because I saw the coverage first on MSNBC then CNN I actually recorded literally white noise on C-SPAN and the Bing Pulse monitor showed how well the president was doing among oh, overall, then divided by gender, then divided by political party. <laughs> Republicans. Mm -hmm. Hello. Um, um, oh, God. Um, um, I do want to quickly point out personally that I was very close, I wasn't that close but the, um, the man that was removed from that big bus outside the Walmart parking lot in Salem, okay, I wasn't that, yeah, I was, of course, I was there in town that day, I was playing bingo, I was at the library playing bingo in both, both libraries, in, um, technically, my, I, well, I didn't have any plans on even going to any Walmart anyway. I'm just kind of glad I didn't. And the only reason I've ever been to that Walmart before, uh, I don't know, I'd have walked all the way over there to rent a red box or um, I once tried to purchase some satellite equipment. But um, that was last year at least. So, I had no idea how, I had no idea that there was some, host, some like hostage crisis going on or shut down until I was on a bus around 3 p.m. that was literally on uh, Lancaster Drive. So it was technically like probably like, I don't know, about a mile or so away or one or two miles away from it. Okay. Um, and of course I want to do time memories. Uh, it, was, it was very touching to see Melissa Rivers there hands down. And um, <laughs> I knew the women on the talk are gonna well they're gonna talk about themselves or gonna probably 
real app behind the scenes. Oh gosh. Oh, and of course, as you quickly inter interject it, in terms of the Bruce Jenner interview, like about Diane Sawyer. Um, yeah, Bruce, I guess, is pretty much a man who wants to, ch who just wants, to, who is a woman, but isn't, what, but who is going to take the hormone injections, but not change his gender physically. He's not gay, but he's, I would say he's mostly overall trans transitioning as a transsexual. Hmm. But even I myself saw some words up there that I never knew before, like cisgender and non-binary. Anyway, yeah, I can only imagine between like the view and the just the view and the talk. Which one? Yeah, the talk's gonna cover the daytime Emmys. I'm sure the Bruce Jenner interview. The view will hopefully cover the Bruce Jenner interview. At least mention, of course, host the White House Correspondents' Dinner, and uh, the devastating earthquake in Nepal, and how it affected and it affects that on Mount Everest. I'm sure they're also probably both going to discuss the tweet Chris Humphreys sent, which I can only say was meant, it wasn't meant to be offensive, I mean that hashtag, you do you, go, go do yourself, whatever it said, it was, it was harmless and supportive. Mm. Anyway. I would I mean I can understand why Chris was wanted out because he was just disgusted with their raids or the fact that they pretty much sell themselves that's kind of their talent mostly the Kardashians but you know for those okay for those that are shot who think that the think that reality shows aren't real I have one word for you I have one word for, well, I have a few words for you cops real stories of the highway patrol jail Locked up, lock up, MSNBC. I mean, they're more doc. I guess they're more docu series than reality shows, but who knows? <laughs> also, you want another reality show that's also on MSNBC? Is him. who who wants to pass up caught on camera? All right, I gotta go. That's all for now.